Hi everyone, it's Southern Bell Canto. Welcome back to my channel. I have a fun little short story review for you, and that is the story Baby Gravy by Frankie Love. It is an erotic short story that is Thanksgiving based, and it was equally part sexy as well as hilarious. It was so funny, had so many puns that I couldn't even. There were some grammatical errors in the story, and I still gave it five stars because it just literally made me bust out laughing. It was so funny. But it actually had some pretty good storyline with the plot, and the um, spicy scenes were very good, and lots of humor. So our hero of the story is Russet. I mean, hello, Russet Potatoes. I couldn't even with that. <laughs> and he has returned to his hometown. He is a Marine and a 20-something year old, and he's returned for like a fall slash holiday leave from the Marines. And he's going to his friend's house for Thanksgiving. Sadly, Russet had to grow up in the foster care system, so he doesn't have a family of his own per se, but he has a family with his best friend Tanner, and his mother, Lindy, hosts a Thanksgiving meal for herself and her two children as well as Russet. So uh, another person coming to the dinner is Tanner's little sister, Autumn. And Autumn previously had a small tryst with Russet before he left for the Marines. And sadly, before he left, Lin uh, Autumn professed that she was sort of in love with Russet and she didn't want him to leave. She wanted to be his wife. She wanted to have a relationship with him, but he felt that he needed to find discipline and control and growth. And so he enlisted in the Marines, but it's been a few years and he is back. He is now a disciplined young man and he is also a decorated uh, hero. Um, it's been talked about from the townspeople that he was on the news because he helped save a family that was uh, close to drowning, I believe, in the Indian Ocean, and he helped to save them. So he is returning home as a d disciplined and decorated man. He's not the teen bad boy that I used to be. Well, at the dinner, um, he, Autumn is there with her current boyfriend, Tommy, who's really a jerk. He was really not a great guy. <laughs> Even though the story was very short, I was not impressed by Tommy. Well, Tommy is quickly told to scoot and boogie out of there because Russet's back in town and Autumn cannot help herself. As soon as she sees him, she steals him away to a dark corner and kisses him and tells him of her, tells him that she is still as in love with him as she was the day that he left and broke her heart by leaving. Well, Russet is a changed man as well. He is ready to settle down and is ready to give Autumn <laughs> his baby gravy. So, um, yeah, they kiss and they do a lot more. <laughs> so they have the Thanksgiving meal. And while at the Thanksgiving meal, Russet was well prepared. He was as prepared as the mother was for the dinner. He pulls out a, a gold band and he proposes to Autumn to be his wife. So it's very instant love. It's an instant love romance. It, it was just very comical, but I loved it. And um, uh, yeah. And so they're at the dinner. He's just proposed and they're going to have some pumpkin pie after they've eaten, you know, the turkey and all the sides. I keep laughing because the story was so funny. <laughs> and so, uh, Lindy's packing up, but she <laughs> she needs whipped cream. <laughs> she needs whipped cream for the pies. <laughs> and so, <laughs> Russet and Autumn say they'll go to the grocery store. <laughs> well, boy, they go to the grocery <laughs> They go to they go to Russet's hotel room, and Autumn gets that baby creepy. She gets she gets the D, and so a couple hours later, they return home with the whipped cream, and then the epilogue 
Wait, it's a nice, it's a year later. <laughs> I don't want to have too many spoilers, <laughs> but it's a good story. <laughs> it, was, it was hilarious. Oh my gosh. If you're looking for a good read that will make you laugh, it was literally 30 pages. Check out Baby Gravy by Frankie Love. And in the back of the book, <laughs> there's more stories of um, other Thanksgiving themed <laughs> Uh, erotic romances. There's um like his turkey meat and manberry sauce and I don't even remember but there's a bunch in the back and my cheeks hurt from smiling and laughing. <laughs> but if you're looking for a good Thanksgiving erotic short story with tons of pun puns, pick up <laughs> Baby Gravy by Frankie Love. You won't be disappointed. Well, everyone, I hope you enjoyed this mini review. I hope you have a wonderful Thanksgiving, and I'll be back with another review at some point. Don't forget to like and subscribe, as well as comment. You can follow me on Instagram, as well as TikTok, for other fun, <laughs> lighthearted reviews. This is not a typical review for me, but when I saw this, I had to do it because it looked so funny. And honestly, it was. If you need a good laugh, pick up Baby Gravy by Frankie Love. You won't be disappointed. And it's from a series called A Second Helpings Short Story. Which, I mean, second chance romance. Can't go wrong with that. Well, I hope you enjoyed this review. Have a wonderful Thanksgiving if you celebrate. If you don't, eat some food because it's yummy. I don't know. Have a good day. Bye, everyone. Ha, ha, ha.